Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jug. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this object from this 2D drawing. Let's get started. Let's create a new component. Create a sketch on the right plane. Select the line tool. We're going to make it a center line. Start in the center point. I'm going to make it 80.5 millimeters. Let's complete the profile and draw the line as follows. Time to add dimensions. I need to constrain this to make sure it's exactly what I want. So I'm going to take these two edges here Make it perpendicular, and that should be that. Continue to add dimensions, select the D key. And now we have the profile we're looking for. The reason I chose center line is simply because now when I select the revolve command, it's going to automatically select the axis and the profile. Continuing on, let's select a tangent plane. Select this edge here, create a sketch on the visible plane, and let's create the profile as follows. We're going to start out with a slot, overall slot, zoom in, just create it like so, add constraints and dimensions, dimension this line to be horizontal. Select this point, line it up with the center point, and now we can add more dimensions. Select the D key. These two edges here will make three millimeters. distance from this point to this edge will make six millimeters and that's fully defined continuing on to this edge here I want to select two point rectangle we'll add dimensions as we go along
We're going to use the symmetry constraint. Select this edge here, this edge here, and this center line here. Locks into place. Next, let's use a three point rectangle. We're going to select this point, this point, and we'll add dimensions at the top. And that's fully defined. And now, let's use the extrude command. Select these two edges here. Direction is going to be symmetric. And distance will be all. Let's turn on the previous sketch. Once we have that profile, select extrude command and we'll make that a negative two to cut inward. Now let's add some fillings and let's turn off the sketch. So we'll select the inside edge, add a one meter fillet, millimeter fillet. Select the outside edge. And also add a one meter minute fillet. Actually, what you can do is this. Let's back up, select the edit feature, hold the control key, and let's also select the top. And we fill it at both edges. Circular pattern command is what we're going to be using next. Get the circular pattern. Want to select features. Want to select the extrusion we just created and the fillets. And the axis, we just select the body. We want a quantity of eight. Let's add some more fillets. We'll fill at this edge here edge here, make it one millimeter, we're going to add some chamfers to these two edges here, set that to 0.5, we also want to chamfer this edge here, make that one millimeter, And let's rotate this object to the back. Create a sketch on this face. We're going to use the center diameter circle. And we're going to make it a construction circle starting at the center point. We want the diameter to be 36. Create a line. Make the construction line. We want to intercept the circle. And this is where we're going to draw another circle. Turn off the construction tool. And set this point in the center. Make it five millimeters. Select the extrude command. Select the circle. Select this face, it'll cut right through. And next we're going to use the center diameter circle. Correction, we're going to be using the circular pattern command. And we want six, we're going to set it to features. Select the extrusion we just created. Axis, select this face here. We want a quantity of six. Use the whole command, select this top face here, drag it to the center point till it snaps into place. Let's add dimensions as follows. Let's 
select the front view. Let's create a sketch on this front face. So center diameter circle. Make that 15 millimeters. What we want to do next is create a two point rectangle. Select this point here. We'll drag it out. We want to make, we're going to tab and make this section four millimeters. What we want to do is constrain this edge, the circle as well. Choose the diameter tool, excuse me, dimension tool. Select this edge first. Right click on the edge of the circle. Select tangent. And it will measure that point and we'll make it 17.5. Select extrude command. Select the profile we just created. And the distance is going to be negative 13. Now we want to fill up the entire object. And I completes this project. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick exercise. Stick around and I shall see you in the next video.